let's see what happens in the proposal by Anton Chekhov. One day Stepan Chubukov got a visit from Ivan Vasilievich Lomov. Ivan Lomov was dressed in his finery, a dress jacket and white gloves. The two neighbors greet each other affectionately. Lomov then takes Chubukov's arm and hesitantly starts talking. Chubukov thinks Lomov is here to ask for money. Lomov is in a state of excitement. Stammering, he asks Chubukov for his daughter Natalia's hand. Chubukov is ecstatic. He accepts the proposal and runs out to send Natalia to meet Lomov. He is confident that his daughter will accept the proposal too. After Chubukov leaves, Lomov thinks to himself. He feels that he needs to decide and not think too much. Otherwise, he will never get married. Natalia, he feels, has all the qualities of a good wife. She is an excellent housekeeper, not bad looking and well educated. Besides, he is 35 and has a weak heart. He ought to settle down and lead a quiet life. At this point, Natalia enters. She makes Ivan comfortable and asks after him. Ivan hesitatingly and nervously begins to say why he is there. Instead of getting straight to the point, he starts talking about their childhood and the warm relationship between their families. He also points out that they are neighbors too. His oxen meadows touch their birch wood trees. Natalia interrupts him here. She asserts that oxen meadows belongs to the Chubukovs and not the Lumovs. Ivan disagrees strongly and thus begins a long argument between Natalia and Ivan about the ownership of oxen meadows. Ivan believes that his grandmother had allowed some peasants of Natalia's great grandfather to settle on the land in exchange for laying bricks for her. Natalia on the other hand tells him that oxen meadows had always been part of their estate. The argument gets louder and louder and Natalia threatens to send her mowers to oxen meadows on the same day. Lomov feels agitated. He clutches at his heart but he does not back down. Natalia's father hearing the commotion enters the room. Natalia asks her father to settle the matter. Chubukov of course agrees with his daughter. And thus starts a new round of argument between the two Chubukovs and Lomov. Lomov threatens to take them to court. Chubukov in anger abuses his family. Lomov feels his arm going numb. Angry and agitated, Lomov stumbles out the door. Chubukov, calling him a villain, tells Natalia that he cannot believe that this scarecrow had the nerve to propose to Natalia. Natalia is horrified when she realizes what she had done. She cries out hysterically and tells her father to call him back. Chubukov is alarmed to see his daughter's state. He leaves and sends Lomov back. Natalia greets Lomov affectionately and tells him that Oxen Meadows is his. Lomov is happy to hear that. Lomov then tells her that his dog has gone lame. He laments the fact that he paid 125 rubles for him. Natalia feels that the amount was too high. She believes that the dog her father bought for merely 85 rubles is better than Lomov's. Lomov disagrees and another long argument starts. Chubukov returns as the heated argument is in progress. Natalia again asks her father for his opinion. Her father of course agrees with her again. By now, Lomov feels that his foot is going to slip. His heart does not feel well either. Chubukov and Natalia continue arguing with Lomov. They even begin to tease him. Lomov, unable to bear it anymore, collapses. Natalia screams. She believes Lomov is dead. Chubukov looks around wildly, shouting for a doctor. In panic, he seizes a glass and brings it to Lomov's mouth. To their surprise, Lomov starts moving. He is not sure where he is. Chubukov quickly tells him that Natalia is willing to marry him. He tells his daughter to kiss him in agreement. Lomov is now fully awake. He is happy that Natalia has agreed to marry him. Natalia is also happy, but she is unwilling to lose the argument. She reiterates that her dog Squeezer is better than Lomov's guess. Lomov too refuses to give in and insists that Squeezer was worse. As for Chubukov, 
he wanted to avoid another argument. He quickly shouts for champagne. <laughs>